<laughs> Multiplying polynomials. <laughs> Multiplying polynomials. Objective to multiply polynomials. For example, we'll multiply this guy by this guy. Two polynomials. Hooray! Alright, so we can think about it kind of like it's double distribution. Remember what we used to do? We used to have this right, just a, um, a constant term outside and we multiply it through. Well, we're going to do a similar thing, but now we have two terms outside. So what we're going to actually do is, is distribute both of them through. So we'll start with the 2x. 2x times 4x is 2 times 4 is 8 x times x, x squared. Now I have to distribute the 2x to the 5. 2x times 5 is 10x. I'm done distributing this guy. Let's distribute the 3 through. 3 times 4x, 12x, positive. 3 times 5 is 15. Notice these two terms can combine. They're like. They both have the same variable. I end up with 8x squared plus 22x, the combined, plus 15 works with integers. We know this number is 5. We know this number is 5. We know 5 times 5 is 25. Let's see how it works out with that distribution. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3. Remember we're adding all of these terms together. 8 and 2 is 10. And this number here is 15. 10 and 15 25. See how nice that is? All right. So remember, I mean, you can actually just, if it helps you, you can just cover up this number, distribute, cover up the next term, distribute. If there are three terms out here, we distribute all three of them. We do triple distribution or quadruple. Whatever's in the leading, um, the leading um, polynomial, you distribute each one of them through the second. Or you can distribute all the second through the first, either way. But you'll see. So again, symbolically, this is a nice way to look at algebraically. Before we did AB plus AC. Now notice what we're doing. AC, AD, A times C, plus B times C, plus B times D. Now notice this can also be thought of as, notice we're going to get the same answers if, if I pretend that this is just one number, because it is one number. Remember, this is a number. It's the number A plus B. And if I just distribute this guy to the C, and I just distribute this guy to the D, just like up here. I just took the A and I plopped it in front of the B. And then I took the A and I plopped it right in front of the C. Well, instead of plopping an A in front of these, pretend that A is right there. I'm going to plop this A and B in front of the C and then this A and B in front of the D. Watch what happens. I get it at A and B plopped in front of the C plus I plop the A plus B whoops, right in front of the D. So I distribute the A plus B to the C, I distribute the A plus B to the D, and watch what happens. Now what do we have here? Another distribution. CA, or AC, sorry, AC, plus BC, right? Plus AD, plus BD. Notice what I have. AC, AD, BC, B, D. Same thing. Now what happens if there's three terms in the second one? Well, we just distribute the A to all three of these guys. A times C, A, C, A, D, A, E. Then i got to do plus B, C, plus B, D, plus B, E. And I look, any like terms? No. That's okay. You'll see in the next one we start multiplying, there will be some like terms. So we're just multiplying, we're distributing things through. So just like we took the A and multiplied it through here, then the B and multiplied it through here, we're going to do the same thing with this example. First I'm going to distribute the 2x through, and then I'm going to distribute the 3 through. So let's start with the 2x, so we don't even look at this guy yet. Let's just look at the 2x. 2x times 4x squared. 2 times 4 is 8. x times x squared is x cubed. Now, I did this one. Now, let's distribute the next one. 2x times 3x. 2 times 3 is 6. x times x is x squared. Now, 2x times 6. The last one. 2 times 6 is 12. x. Now, I'm going to distribute the 3. I already did this guy. Let's distribute the 3 through. 3 times 4x squared is 12x squared. Uh, I'm going to write it underneath here because it's nice and lined up. Because I can write it anywhere. I'm adding all these terms. It doesn't matter. I can add 5 and 4. 5, 
4, negative 3, 2. It doesn't matter where I put them as long as I, I can add them. 5, 6, 7, minus 3 is 4, 4, I get 8. So these, it doesn't matter really where I put them. I just like them. It's a little bit easier when you line them up like this. 3 times 3x is positive 9x. Look how nice that is, the x terms. And 3 times 6 is 18. Now I can combine like terms. 8x cubed. 12 and 6 is 18x squared. 9 and 12 is 21x plus 18. See how nice that is? Now, some like to do this multiplication like uh, the, the way that we kind of do the multiplication algorithm. All right? They like to actually, just like this, 6 times 3, they get the 18 here. Then they do 3 times 3x. So first we did this. Now 3 times 3x, 9x. Now 3 times 4x squared, 12x squared. Okay? Notice the x is lined up, the x squared. Let's do this here. Now we do the 2x. 2x times, remember how we did this? 0. 2x times 6, because there's no uh, single terms. 2x times 6 is 12x. 2x times 3x, 6x squared. And 2x times 4x squared, 8x cubed. All right? Add them all up, combine like terms, end up just so nicely, end up lining up nice here. Um, 21x, doesn't always happen. Um, we actually learn how to later on leave spaces for all the different um, exponents, all different degrees of x. Um, 18x squared, 8x cubed. Look how nice that looks. Same answer that we got here, right? 8x cubed, right? So you can do it, distribute this way horizontally, shoot it up and down, do it vertically. Notice this is exactly the way that we do multiplication. This is how we do our multiplication. We do 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, add them up, 6, 3 is 10. Oh, I didn't want to, have to I didn't want it, so it's pretend it's a little 10 right there, but whatever, kind of 1, 9, 10. Um, same thing we're going to do here, right? If we think of 323 as 3 times 100 plus 2 times 10 plus 3, 300 plus 20 plus 3, 323, and 31 is 3 tens and a 1, let x equal 10, and if x is equal 10, then x squared equals 100. So wherever I see a 100, I can put an x squared. So I put a, an x squared here, and then a 10 where there's an x, x and x, watch what I end up with. 323 ends up being 3x squared plus 2x plus 3, and 31 ends up being 3x plus 1. Now I can do my... Uh, vertical uh, multiplication here, polynomials. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2x is 2x. 1 times 3x squared is 3x squared. 3x times 3. Maybe right, put the 0 there. Then 3x times 3 is 9x. And 3x times 2x is 6x. Wait a minute. 323... 3 times 3, oh yeah, I did have to carry the 1 there, yeah, same thing, I'm going to do it here again. Oh, well, you'll understand. Uh, 3x times 3 is 9x, 3x times 2x is 6x squared, and then 3x times 3x squared is 9x cubed. And notice when we add these all up together, we get 3 plus, what's 9 plus 2? 11x. And 9x squared. 9x cubed, 9x cubed. And remember what this is. This is 9,000 plus 900 plus 11 tens, 110 plus 3. When you add these guys up and carry that stuff, you end up with the same thing here. Anyway, so the same stuff ends up happening. This is the way we, we do multiplication. Um, by the way, people like to do the multiplication of these of these guys here is they like to do this area thing. So I'm going to show you this little area thing and do a couple more examples in the next one. Ready? 2x times 3x squared is 6x cubed. 4x squared, negative 6x. And here I get 12x squared, 8x minus 12. Now I just look for the like terms. So let's see, I get 12x squared and 4x squared. Which is, let's see, here they are. So I get 16x squared, 6x cubed. And I get 8x and negative 6x minus 2x minus 12. I just added all the like terms. And that's what I ended up equaling. So I'll do a couple more examples on the next video. Adios.